Hello everybody, welcome back to the Friar. I got a great unboxing for you. Yeah, I haven't got very far on my PC build. But this is going to change that. There is something underneath this towel, or this cover, that is powerful. And a member of the PC Master Race. I thought I was all alone, and I found him. Oh. I don't want to show you. I'm going to keep it. Oh, you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to. You want to see it, don't you? Don't you? Oh, yes, you do. Here we go. And voila. Porter cable, 1.6 amp, 18 inch variable speed scroll saw. You're like, what the hell does that have to do with computers? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It's for modding the computer, so I can actually cut the template off the rub that I did a few videos back. As well as being able to do some really cool things to teach the kids how to do some uh, scroll work. These things are invaluable tools for any shop. Well, let's get this bad boy opened up and see what we can do. Uh, might as well just read off the things that are in the box so you can kind of know what it is. Also includes a sawdust blower. Basically a straw. Five blades. Woohoo! LED work lamp. That's going to come in handy. One stand. That's going to come in handy. A hex wrench. I got a ton of them already. Alright. This, I've been looking at these for about four or five weeks. Uh, I kind of never thought I'd need one. But after I did some research and everything else, this is definitely the tool that I need uh, to get the work done. Yeah, there's jig saws and hand saws, but I got MS and my body don't work so good. So I need something that's got power and flexibility. And this has almost all of the functionalities that I wanted in one. Except for one, which was kind of the most important one, but I didn't have between $600 and over $1,000 to pay for one. But as we unbox it, I'll explain what I liked about it and the one thing that I wish it did have as we keep going. But, let's see, what else does the box say? Up front controls, that's the main thing. Yes, question in the back! Yay! What are the pros and cons? I haven't got that far, I said I'd get there in a minute. <laughs> Smart Alec. <laughs> Ooh, I was going to cuss at him, but I'm going to be nice. Continue the unboxing. <laughs> Hush! Up front controls, conveniently located on off switch. A speed control between 500 and 1500 strokes per minute. Also known as PM. At no low speed. So basically that's how fast it will go if it has nothing on it. Uh, built in adjustable LED work light. We already covered that. Gooseneck style. I covered that. Uh, 1.6 amp uh, motor. I said in the beginning. Large die cast aluminum pear shape table. Which adjusts 45 degrees to the one way. And 15 degrees to the other. Which when I was at the store it was actually pretty funny. I couldn't get it to go the other way. And. The person who was helping me had no clue how to get to go the other way. I looked at it and I, it was a little tap. It was pretty funny. Uh, a table top bevel indicator. Oh, okay. That's the... <laughs> and a sturdy steel stand. Alright. So that's why you're so happy. And with every cardboard box we open up on unboxing here in the fryer with Crystal Sniper, a.k.a. me, Jacob, you will not cut me. Do you understand? You understand me, boy? Actually, it didn't come out right. And it can be taken wrong because I'm pointing at a T. Never mind. <laughs> actually, I've been sitting on this since my wife's birthday, actually. This was my present to me on my wife's birthday. How horrible am I of a person? You open it by yourself. I can open it. See, look. Oh, wow. I opened it. Take it out of the box by yourself. Oh, yeah, don't watch it, bub. <laughs> Alright. Uh, why don't you raise it up so we can kind of get a pan down? <laughs> Alright. We have hard foam. 
I hate hard foam. But, <laughs> traditionally, there's a big envelope sitting right here. You know, it's got paperwork in it. It's taped to the box. And there's a flashlight in the back. Does that mean the battery's going to die? Mm -hmm. You mean this? Yeah. That's the recording. Oh, okay, I need that. <laughs> Can you see this? If I zoom right in. here, it's taped in, so it doesn't fall down. It's taped in. <laughs> what a place for the manual. They must know because when men see it here, they throw it over their heads. Long. But I'm not like most men. Mostly because there's a lot of screws and stuff in here. Looks complicated, you know. Yeah, yeah. My life's complicated. Oh, snap. Oh, I didn't just go there. Well, one part. Two part, three part, four, and actually this goes here, so I don't know why it was out of spot. Can he do it? No, he can't. <laughs> given to me by my adopted mom Cheryl Lee uh, and it seems bigger than the store yeah. <laughs> it always seems bigger than the store All right. no, I mean, it seems bigger than the store this particular saw has gotten some like weird reviews I don't know why I mean it says it's right here Peace. wait I actually did it wrong actually I'm on the wrong side Right on here. It says PC, as in PC Master Race. This is destined for me, for my homage. And oh, there's a cut on the knob. I, I don't care about that. I'm not going to be one of those people who's like, oh, it's damaged. Oh, it's not that bad. Well, it is. It's technically to return, but I'm not going to fuss with yeah. that right now. <laughs> Want to roll, roll, attention, what's going on here? Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Alright, we are down to zero. Now even though it says zero, you want to have a small square to make sure that your blade is at a perfectly right angle to the table. Here's our flex light. That's nice. That is kind of cool. And Actually, we might not need to stand with this table. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of one of the other reasons I wanted it. Those things. I mean, I have a lot of portable cable stuff. That and Shop Fox, those are my two main brands I go with. Ooh, I like your Shop Fox bandsaw. Yes, that's a pretty thing. That was heavy unloading to move here. Oh, though. hush up. That's not something you want to put in. <laughs> but, as I was saying, uh, up front controls, real easy. We got our uh, variable speed down here which is neatly colored. I didn't realize it was dual colored. We have our light switch on and off, our big on and off switch for the power all up in front. We have our tension and blade uh, up front also for quick blade changes. Now, what I was saying is what I was not quite happy with but I can't do anything about is the articulating arm. This is just one big arm that goes through the whole entire body and it goes up and down. The new ones that I really was hoping to get has two cams where it just kind of goes up and down like a, a motor block. But like I said that's between 450 and something. This is on sale for 170 at uh, Lowell's. Uh, it seems solid. This isn't cast iron, it's cast aluminum. And like I said this is not perfect. Uh, by no means, which I'm kind of not super happy about. There's scuff marks on the plate. Yeah, that's one of the things that's not supposed to be, be there. <clears throat> and 
I am looking for the wrong tool. Kids, don't do this. Oh, there we go. Now, I want to, what is he doing? Well, main thing, I want to see how hard it was to make one of these so I can make zero clearance because if I'm cutting metal, it's going to be important. But I saw some shortcuts and stuff where I can actually just put some decent tape on here. And I got some pretty nice, uh, I think they're Bosch blades for this. This also does a uh, pin, which is a, a blade with a pin on it so it sits in there. But the problem is with the pin blades, they're very thick and don't work very well for the product. I need something really thin. Even though I'm cutting metal and you want something robust, I want it thin. Uh, Gotta get the nice edges. And yeah, a nice clean thing. And it's a spiral bit, so I should be able to cut in any direction. I can cut this way, I can cut this way, I can cut this way. Uh, see what else is going on here. Uh, <laughs> I would love to plug this in for you guys and watch it work, but you guys are going to have to wait until I start doing my build and I'll start doing some recordings with that. But I wanted to show you this. Uh, the Porter Cable, the model number is the PCB375SS. Uh, scroll saw. It is a beautiful unit. It does seem very, it's got a cast iron base though. Uh, I've read some things about Porter Cable. I'm not positive if it's true. I read some off things where this is some sort of knockoff of something that's in Taiwan. I don't know that. Uh, I wish I could stand up and walk around to look this Sorry, I'm not trying to ruin your view of it, but I want to see what else there is so I can take a better look at it. Uh, the adjustable... Ah, there we go. Just to show you how weak I am, I can't get the foot to lower. Come on, go down. Oh, I love it. <laughs> There's some great instructional videos on how to use one of these. And all of them have this thing propped up like this. And I was trying to find one that actually had a table that tilted forward. Yeah, that was kind of silly of me. Oh, actually. It's kind of got a rubber, I think. No, maybe not. I was going to say, I think it has a rubber foot on it, but I don't think so. But, from right here, light, the blower, which is actually not bad. This is actually pretty nice. Most of them I've seen are like a little hose with a metal straw that's down here, and I don't like that. <laughs> that's with me. I was going to buy a really cheap one, and like, I didn't want to deal with a blower that's always blowing at me. And then there's the gauge here, which shows you what the degrees that it's at. But this doesn't tell you true level, or not level, but true zero. Make sure that this blade's at a right angle. So you're going to want a little tiny square or something to that effect. Especially you're going to be doing fiddle work, and uh, not fiddle work, fretting and like puzzles and stuff like that, you want to make sure that your table is perfect. So the pieces will go back together perfectly because when you're cutting stuff out, like 3D ornaments and some other stuff, it's really important to make sure that this is square. 90 degrees. Uh, this has a, uh, this will all be hand done. Like I said, this has like almost all the features I really want on, except for that one thing. Everything's up front, the variable speed control, the tensions are fairly easy. I can easily switch the blades and also uh, be able to uh, take the blade off actually if I do this but I need practice I don't have this and I haven't quite figured out how to get this all working correctly and works on getting my hand in here which actually is something I should have tested because I have fat hands uh, but I could tool this be able to tool this open these things up now I know I think this is cast aluminum so I can't be totally uh, wrong about that. Actually, I should probably turn it this way. Uh, if it's pot metal, I'm going to be very upset with it. But it seems like everything on here is aluminum. And Porter Cable doesn't chintz out on stuff to that effect. It's got a rubber nylon washer on there. So everything seems to be quite sturdy, well made. I won't know to get it plugged in, get the motor up there, get the stand kind of put together. But this is the unboxing for the PC Master Ace as an importer cable and PCs, not Mac, uh, construction. 
This you'll see this in our uh, future videos for the build. I think I'm going to go with Black Mesa. I think that's the name I'm going to go with, and I'll explain the reason behind that. And it's not all because I'm hoping for the next yes. season. Ah, don't even say it. Of of that particular game, we all know what game that is. For the third one, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we yeah, but no, but it's 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 black. It's gonna have black lights. And black makes it seem to fit. Uh, I have unless you guys have another idea for a name for my PC. Because I'm not talented. I can't make a skunk works or something to that effect. Or what does Jerry Barnacles call his computer? Uh, workhorse, <laughs> which mine will be. But it'll be an homage to AMD. And because well, if things are going through the line, I would. Never mind. That's another video. And I like to say thank you for taking your time, staying with me for the moment. I'm Chris Go Sniper. Uh, hit the subscribe button or click on my other video if you want to keep up to date on my content. Hit that like button if you were intrigued by seeing the Porter cable and you want to see how it operates and the functionality of it. And really, if it is going to be as completely horrible as uh, most other reviews, or I actually haven't seen any reviews online, like on the tube of you, YouTube, uh, about it. But I've, re I've read a couple of them. Uh, on forum posts, stuff like that. But it's a mixed bag. I've heard people say it's the best saw they've ever had. I've had guys that give it one star and say, this is the worst thing, piece of junk. And I, I don't know if some of them are just a little bit overly biased. Uh, I never thought I'd own one of these. Now I'm kind of glad I do. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time. Zelux, say goodbye. Goodbye. And I'll see you next to the video. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> I just said goodbye and I had to add this in. I was like flipping it upside down, looking at it. And the toolless uh, little knob is down here so I can actually fit my hand in bottom here. I just got to get used to the feeling. And it'll take some time. But as I was flipping it down, I found this. It's got a little storage box for blades built onto it. That's kind of a nifty little thing. Uh, how wonderful it's going to be and how useful it is yet. But it's nice to have a little tray, a little bit of on built on storage. I know uh, some of them had that. But I just want to show that to you, uh, just so you didn't know that I left it out. And thank you guys for joining me again. I'll see you next time. Bye.